Jesus said in the book of John, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. As a church, we want to show our love for our community so that we can obey God and bring more people to Jesus. In our culture, it doesn't make sense to show love to those that you do not even know. But as Christians, we know that if we love others, Christ is glorified and the gospel can be spread. This last year, we have seen God do some great things through loving those in our community. Here's our outreach pastor, Dan Hill, to let you know all that God did and how you can be involved in further outreach. As we reflect on the past year and look ahead to the future, let's dive into what we've accomplished and see what's in store for our local outreach efforts. First off, let's recap what we did last year in terms of local outreach. In April and September, we hosted an awesome event handing out coffee and donuts to our local school staff. Then in May, we celebrated Mother's Day by partnering with the Pregnancy Center and The Nest. June was a busy month as we collected 87 survival bags to the Toledo Gospel Rescue Mission and held our first international picnic with water for Ishmael and hosted dozens of internationals from over seven different countries on our new property. July brought us the opportunity to feed the rockets, both physically and spiritually. And October was full of opportunities with the International Bonfire and our participation in Fallen Timbers Fall Festival. Hi, I'm Kathy Permar. Last fall, I had the joy of serving alongside others from our church at the Trunk or Treat at Fallen Timbers. Uh, we had a great time handing out goodie bags to the kids and serving hot coffee to the grown-ups on a very cold, windy, and rainy day. Uh, but no doubt that brought them to our table in droves and that opened the door for us to invite them to church and share with them about the wonderful children's programs that we have to offer and best of all we are able to share the love of Jesus with them. So if you've been considering serving and you're not sure where to start, let me encourage you to participate in one of our upcoming community outreach programs and I promise you'll be greatly blessed. We wrapped up the year with a heartwarming Thanksgiving pie outreach. We distributed over 600 pies to our neighbors and a memorable friend day in December. The best part is that all of these events were done for the sake of the gospel and afforded us the opportunity to be lights in our community. Looking ahead to the next year, our vision for local outreach is all about getting back to the basics. I want to encourage each and every member of our church to engage in personal evangelism. How did Christ reveal himself to people? Well, he did it through his actions and his words. The way Christ lived here on this earth revealed that what he said about himself was true. In Philippians 1.27, Paul tells the church at Philippi that their manner of life should be worthy of the gospel of Christ that they would stand firm in one spirit, with one mind, striving side by side for the faith of the gospel. And this is our goal for this next year. So, how can you be involved? Well, you can be involved through your own personal evangelism. Personal evangelism looks like investing in the people God has put around you for a purpose. It may take some time and effort, but cultivate the ground, plant seeds, water them, and you will see fruit purpose in your heart to start a few gospel-centered relationships this year. Maybe you need to just get started doing something, but gospel relationships are daunting to you. Well, you could start by trying what I call broad seed casting. This could look like sharing the gospel in your everyday interactions. Take some gospel tracts with you every week, or you could take the We Love Our Neighbor cards and show people the love of Christ and give them the gospel. The cards and the tracts are available every week in the lobbies and in the church office. There will also be calendarized event-based opportunities to sign up for as well. In short, there are countless ways to make a difference, so don't hesitate to get involved. During this season, as Easter is fast approaching, we have many great opportunities to continue to share the gospel with our community. We want our church to continue to be a church that is the hands and feet of Jesus and uses every opportunity we have to bring people to Him. 